This is maybe once in a blue moon opportunity to work on a novel platform, a novel therapeutic modality, and have a really big impact in patients' lives. That's why people, I think, get excited about joining our Venus. We're making investments in people. We're bringing in all the right experts in the field. We're making investments in the science. We're making investments in being able to be a fully functioning drug discovery organization. It's a small company that is growing at a very, very fast pace, but they have been able so far to keep that culture of, of closeness between scientists. And I think that makes a big difference when you come to work every day. We all have a shared goal, not only to help the patients, but to push forward progress with this very cool technology. The promise of the technology is that we'll develop a new therapeutic for human disease. Protein degradation is fundamentally a different process from just inhibiting an enzyme or a receptor. We're harnessing the cell's natural process for eliminating mutated or dysfunctional proteins. This technology has incredible possibilities in, in what it could do and what it could address. I mean, I think there are a lot of diseases out there with, with an unmet need. When they join the teams, they realize they're joining an A team. There's lots of really smart scientists here. And also they meet the leadership team pretty quickly and realize there's a team here that knows the direction the company's going in. I came for my interview and I truly felt like that feeling of camaraderie between colleagues, how passionate they were about what they were doing. And it was actually like a family feel when I got here. And these people are you know, really amazing scientists, and I really thought this is a good fit for me. I think a good place where I could learn a lot and be happy doing it. I think the momentum is amazing here. The sky's the limit at this point. There's many, many proteins and, and disease areas we could potentially be working in, in neurodegenerative diseases and different spaces in oncology. And there's many opportunities to create life-changing medicines right now. You're not waiting for, to be told what to do. You can make your decisions to move forward. You know what the general game plan is, but as a scientist, you can lay out your experimentation, generate the data, and then show that data to move the program forward. I would say, in my opinion, that this is one of the biggest innovations in the last decade. We have now quite a number of small company competitors to our Venice, along with those big pharmaceutical companies. And I see this as a huge positive, that we're the first company in the space, we're the first company to develop therapeutics, the first company to take these molecules into the clinic, and therefore we want to keep that lead over the coming years. Knowing that this new modality and the compounds that have been generated here are now being used in humans and could potentially be helping right now, you know, breast cancer or prostate cancer. And that's an amazing feeling, right? To, to feel that you've been a part of something that is actually gonna help people. There's, you know, nothing better, I think, from a scientific reward than that. If you can work in an environment where you think you're doing good, then what else is better?